Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm cooking up a little trick to go with those Halloween treats. I'm not gonna be available to hand out candy this Halloween, but I wanted to leave something for the trick-or-treaters. So I decided I would leave out a bowl of candy with a sign that says, please take one. But I wanted to add a little bit of a trick to the trick-or-treat by playing a scary sound triggered by a motion sensor once a trick-or-treater approached. I have a ring doorbell, so I decided I would capture the reactions on the ring doorbell and then play them for you in a reaction video if they turn out as good as I hope they do. If that intrigues you, please check out the video. I'll show you how I did it. The first thing I did was connect a PIR motion sensor to a Raspberry Pi, and that Raspberry Pi is connected to a touch screen. The PIR sensor is connected to the 5 volt ground and pin 11 on the board. Next, we need to cut the jumpers and then splice in a longer piece of cable. I'm using irrigation cable because it has the same colored wires as the wires that I'm using, and it's going to make it much easier to solder in another piece. I 3D printed an enclosure for the PIR sensor, and here you can see I hot glued it in so that it's ready to go. Next, I need to solder the leads, so I, I stripped the ends and prepared both cables so that they're ready for solder. I fed the wires through a box that I 3D printed, and then I'm going to use the wires that I'm not using to connect here. I'm going to turn them into a bit of a knot so that they'll hold it firmly inside the enclosure. I stripped the ends of all the cables and then tinned the leads with the solder in order to prepare them to solder together, and then simply match them up, solder them together, and they're ready to go. These are very low voltage connections, and then this project's going to be a temporary setup just for Halloween. So I'm just using electrical tape to insulate the wire. With that done, I can clip my box together and I'll eventually add some screws and that part is done. Next I move on to the uh, Raspberry Pi connections and I'm still gonna do the same thing here. Just strip the wires that I need and solder them together. I wrote a script in Python that could be run on a Raspberry Pi here as you see. And I needed three different libraries, the GPIO time VLC libraries. There was some basic setup of the GPIO pin. Only pin 11 will be used as an input and that's set up there using the board pin locations. And then I used two different uh, variables here. I used the counter and holding in order to keep track of how many times it's triggered. And then also I loaded uh, the VLC media player here with a Wicked Witch laugh to test out my script. It's also going to open and read the last value of a text file in order to see how many it left off with last, last time I ran the script and then it's going to continue going through and adding to that number. A while true function will cause it to just loop through this function over and over again. It's going to read the pin and then if the pin output is low, it's going to say no motion detected and print uh, the status of the pin and then it's going to put the holding variable to zero and add a second of sleep. If the pin is high, meaning that motion is detected and the holding variable is low, meaning it's run through that first if statement at least once, then it's going to increment the counter, print motion was detected, as well as how many times the counter has uh, been triggered, and then it's going to wait four seconds in order for the kids to walk up the sidewalk, and then it's going to write an increase to the counter and launch the sound. Then it's going to wait for 12 seconds so that it's not triggering over and over again with the same kids. As you can see here, once I wave for a bit and motion is detected, after four seconds, it triggers a laugh. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the terminal as that runs. No motion detected, and then when motion is detected, four seconds later, it triggers the pulse. Here I have uh, an error that pops up, but I'm not worried about that because it still functions properly. That being done, I hooked up the setup to an old set of speakers, and here I am wiring those speakers, covering them up with some black fabric on the outside, and then also having uh, the sensor mounted in a place that you could see it. And here's the inside view of what that looks like uh, with a little bit of a messy setup, but here's the stereo and the Raspberry Pi unit that I'm using.
Finally, I'm going to create a little sign to go with the bowl of candy, and that's simply going to say, please take one with some angry looking eyes. I read a book one time, and it said that when there's a set of eyes there, people are more likely to be honest. It's a pretty simple project, but in the end, a motion sensor and a few sound effects can make the experience a little more interesting than your simple trick or treat. I hope you found this project interesting. If you did, be sure to check back in the next video where I show you the reactions of some of the people that came to the door, as long as they turn out well. Otherwise, I'll feature another project we've been working on. If you like these videos or find they give you a little inspiration of your own, please consider subscribing, ring the bell to be notified of future videos, tell your friends and family about the channel, and keep checking back every week as we post a new video. Until next time, in all your projects, trick or treat, don't be afraid to be bolder.